Hello, Melissa here, and I'm back with a layout that I made with my June hit kit. It's one of the last layouts that I made, and I was pretty much down to bits and pieces of scraps. There was no full pieces of paper left, and I really wanted to focus on using those silver thickers that I showed you at the beginning. So here I'm just showing you what I have got left. Bits of scraps of paper, some embellishments, some tags, and bits of ephemera. And because this is such a summer kit, I'm scrapping these two photos of Azaria at Lake Wanaka in January this year. We went over there um, two weekends in a row. The first weekend we went for just a Saturday while my husband set up for his band's gig. And it's about 40 minutes from where we live, so not really that far away. But enough of um, a trip to be, I guess, out of, away from here. Which probably sounds crazy if you know where I live, because I live in Queenstown, which is a lake and Alpine Resort, but sometimes it's just nice to get away and um, just appreciate another area and it also makes you appreciate where you live as well. So these photos, she wasn't even aware that I was taking them and it's just her playing. I'm not, I don't actually think they even went swimming. It's pretty cold all year round in the water. It can be really hot outside, but the water is still cold. Not that kids feel the cold, but they had, they more had a good time just playing on the beach. So I wanted to scrap them side by side and they work really well together. And so here I'm just looking at what I've got and then working out how I can um, incorporate these bits and pieces into my design. This is one of those layouts where I had absolutely no idea what I was going to do. I just wanted to go with the flow. And Recently on Faith Hope Washi on Facebook, we've been having discussions. Um, well, I haven't actually, <laughs> sounds bad. I haven't joined in the discussion because I've been so busy with work, but I have seen, I've read some of the discussion about um, what it's like when the camera is on and the pressure of knowing the camera's on and how do you create. So this is one of those layouts that I haven't um, prepared ahead. The only thing I did do was pull my photos and because I had no full sheets of paper left I knew I'd be using white cardstock as a background so that's why this video is longer than usual I try to keep my videos to 15 minutes but this one is I mean it's only two minutes over but still it's because I um, didn't really pre-plan and which isn't something I do all the time but I kind of just had to go with it and work out what I was doing and so the answer to the question of how do you create when the camera's rolling is I really just have to pretend that it's not rolling and um, the thing is because I have a child or have three but because I'm doing this at home when she's asleep if she wakes up then I'm just going to stop the camera and come back la later on even if it's the next day so I try to pretend the camera's not there of course I'm aware of it but in my mind, I'm telling myself it's not there and just to ignore it and carry on in my creative process like I always do. So this one did take a bit of time to get going and um, I knew that I wanted to use certain papers. That triangular paper in the background is one that I love. It's probably one of my favourites in the kit. So you'll see soon that I will cut away some of that so I can use it in another layout because I don't want to waste it and I think I've shared already that I didn't get the pattern paper add-on I just got the main kit and the embellishment kit so because I don't have a whole heap of paper to spare and I think I sacrificed, I didn't sacrifice but I used three of the papers I think as backgrounds and so whatever other bits and pieces I had I wanted to get as much use out of them as possible so you've seen there that I've cut that middle out and now I'm just putting that behind my photo and it's really like a big giant mat and adds a bit of interest behind the photo. Lately I've been into banners again and if you follow my blog and what I create when I play along with sketches you'll notice that every time there's a, a strip of paper um, I will cut it into a banner and I just like the way that looks. This is a tag that I haven't been able to use, not because I don't like it, it just um, hasn't made its way onto any layout, I haven't even tried to use it, so I wanted to make the most of that little heart that's cut out there, and I'm thinking at this point about backing it with some paper. 
I also wanted to use some silver stars because I haven't used much silver. Most of the layouts I've made up to this point have been dominated by gold and so that's why I showed at the beginning that the thickers are really driving the design of this layout and in this instance I want to keep the gold and the silver separate. So here I'm going through some of the embellishments that I've got left and I'm just tucking bits and pieces behind trying to work out what looks good and that's really what it is it's trial and error seeing what works I did struggle a lot with the pineapples in this month's kit I seem to have no trouble with lemons and citrus but pineapples is I don't know why I couldn't make them work that tag I also had a lot of trouble using or trying to use and I try it out on this one and I just can't get it to work but there I'm thinking about adding some mist and so I'm just wanting to try them on a piece of paper to see how they look together and the colour that I wasn't really sure about was that um, orangey Heidi Swap colour shine. I know that that pink is going to work with the, color, with the bold colour of the pink on that stripe. So here I'm, I've decided where I want my mist and I'm just dropping it on and I think people often ask how do you get your mist um, to do what you want it to do and I think it's about being confident and just going for it and you'll see that I tap when I'm when I'm dropping it on I'm tapping it with my index finger and hoping for the best and if it doesn't look like what I want it to it doesn't matter it's meant to look random so yeah I'm happy with that and I think also pre-planning I mean I know I said I didn't pre-plan this layout but I did pre-plan just then where I want the mist and, and putting it on before you Put your photos or other pieces of paper and elements is also a good way to go. So here I'm wanting to stick this photo down and when I'm having two photos positioned next to each other I do make sure that the middle seam between the two, as in the, where the two photos will touch, that both of them are stuck down quite securely because I don't want anything to pop up. And here I've come back to that tag with the heart, just trying to work out which one looks best. And I'm no, I know that it's that stripe, so at this point I did think of having it flush and, and I'm just working out which way I want the stripe to go. And then I decided that I want to have some, some shadow and dimension, so I'm going to put these little pop dots, so just from Spotlight here in New Zealand, just around the edge of the heart and put that paper behind it, so that provides a bit of interest. Now once I'd done this, then I had the problem of where to place my tag. Because it is it's quite a long tag, and so I did want to keep it as one. And here, because the string, that are the twine, these tags from Fancy Pants came with twine in them, which is fantastic. But because I've filled in what was essentially the hole for the twine, and I've punched another hole with my crocodile. So I can still add some twine to the top. At this point I'm still thinking I really want to use up that tag, it's beautiful, but it is so big that I just can't get it to work. That that was one position I thought about, but to me it just doesn't really suit. And it takes away from the photo. So I'm trying again at the top. And because I've stuck my photos down, tucking it under isn't an option. One will go at the bottom and then I'll yeah, after seeing if it will work as an element at the top, I'll be not using it. So at this point, I'm now trying to work with this tag, and I've decided that the best way to make it work is to cut it. And you would have seen before, I looked like I was going to rip it. I think at that point I still hadn't committed to doing that, but it's definitely in my mind. And I love that chipboard sun-kissed, because that's what I think of when I look at these photos and so I'm using that as a prompt really and I'm going to spell out sun kissed with these silver figures and it's quite interesting because I'm down to the last few layouts with my kit these thickers are so so beautiful and I'm just really surprised that I almost didn't use them at all but it was because I made a decision that I had to use them and I wanted to base a layout off them instead of a piece of paper or a photo 
that once I've um, got this layout finished, I've got some more, couple more videos to come, and you'll see that I use them again. So it's never too late to pull something in, really, if you haven't used it. So they had a lot of these little um, chevron, I guess they're chevron little arrow pieces, and I wanted to definitely get them some, get them down in the layout. And now I'm having to make the um, well, what you call it. Sorry, I should know. I am a writer, and I'm the wife of a teacher. Is it a hyphen? Anyway, I had to make one, and I just used the top of an exclamation mark, and so I'm adding that in. Often I will add glue to my chipboard stickers, but these ones seem to be okay. And I think because they are partly or mostly on the photo paper, they stuck really well. These chipboard stars definitely don't stick on their own. And if you haven't used them before, I would say absolutely add a bit of glue just to secure them. I wish that that... Um, packet of stars had more of those cut out ones, there's only one of each colour but I really love the look of them and I love the three different ones together like that and there I'm adding what could be the last, yes it is, the last um, wooden um, enamel button and they were just gorgeous. I love them. I could do with probably 10 packets of those and still not be sick of them. And I wanted to add that A because it's her name is Azaria. But I don't think I can make that one work either. So here I am with this little tag and I've cut it off. And I want to just make it look like it's tucked behind even though it's not. So I've trimmed it down to a height that is going to complement my design. I don't really want it at the same height as the paper behind. And at this point I decide to punch the hole again with the larger um, hole punch on the crocodile. And the, the twine was a bit too long so I've just cut it in half and I'll use that other piece on another tag. So now it's just a matter of working out where to place it. And when I look at hmm, when I look at the A, it doesn't look too bad. So I'm just trying to remember. No, I don't. I'm looking at the layout now. No, I don't use the A, but it could it could have worked? It's interesting, isn't it? When you look back, those of you that make videos, you look back and you think, you know what? That could have worked. Why didn't I do that? But anyway, at the time, it didn't work. And now I think I found the best position. And that is over where those stars are and that other piece of ephemera. And usually clustering definitely works best for my style. Still trying to make that A work. And giving it up. So these are Alley Studio lead stickers. And they're really lovely. I love the colour of them. Um, and what I'm doing there, I want to write, I want to have the word beauty. So the title will be Sunkissed Beauty. And um, just to make sure I get the spacing right, I'm working out where the middle of the um, silver thickers are. And then I wrote the word beauty and just worked out the middle letter, middle number, sorry. Because one thing that really irritates me is when I do a title and I get the spacing completely wrong, so I'm really trying to hard to make sure that I'm happy with it. Because it's something that, it may not bug some people, but it bugs me if, it, if I'm looking back in my album and it just looks wrong to me. So that's what I was doing there. And I found that easiest to get these letters on, sorry, yeah, letters, by turning the layer on its side. So that's why I'm doing that. And I like the fact that they do kind of blend into that anchor paper at the back and that doesn't bother me. I mean, in person, the layout, you can see them clearly, but I really want the focus to be on those silver stickers. So I'm just adding the little asterisks there and 
that may nearly be it. Adding my journaling. Oh yes, and I think I'm adding her initial somewhere. That's what I'm doing. Yes, adding the A at the top on that piece of ephemera. And I think that little arrow says something like the beach this way or something like that. And you'll see above her there's someone out in the water. So I just want to cover them up. And so that wood veneer arrow is perfect. Then adding some enamel dots. I found these enamel dots quite hard to use because there weren't many of them. And I think there were only two of each colour. But I think if I just use them randomly and mix the colours up, then it's a lot easier to deal with. Another scrapbooking problem. So coming in with my journaling, and I'm just choosing to write it underneath the line of that, that um, paper there. And I just talk about, I can't remember, it was a while ago that I made this, just talk about the day and what we were doing and how much fun she had. So just, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I cut out all this journaling or not, but I'm quite confident when I'm journaling on camera or even straight onto the layout. Often I don't really pre-plan what I'm going to say. I just let it flow as I write it, and that's what I'm doing. And I believe that's all I add. So you'll have some close-ups coming. Um, I just want to apologise for not um, commenting on your comments. I've just absolutely been snowed under with work at the moment, but I'm hoping to come out the other end of it soon. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow with another video. See you then. Bye.